We used to have a one barracuda timer. Let's add two more hands. We're going to have to dive into the Dr. Racket code. We're using picturing program tools. We've got a barracuda image, a stop sign image. We've got a pencil for a minute hand, an arm for an hour hand. And we build our second hand by putting the barracuda on top of a clear white circle. And it moves at a speed of 60 seconds for 360 degrees. The minute hand is similar. It moves 60 times 60 seconds for 360 degrees. The hour hand goes 360 degrees in 12 hours, which each of those hours is 60 minutes, and each of those is 60 seconds. We need to define a few more things. Time is going to have to represent three hands of the clock. So we define a new struct called hands with hour, minute, and second hands. Time is going to just, well, we'll make a new hands object and use the hour hand, minute hand, and second hand that we've already created, those images. Update time is going to give us a set of hands which is one second later than the one that it consumes. Here's how we define it. Update time takes a parameter h and it make hands. Well, it's going to produce the rotated hour hands. Remember, we need negative one so that it moves clockwise instead of counterclockwise. Those move at hour hand speed, which we just defined above. And it's going to rotate the minute hand at minute hand speed. It's also defined a little bit further above. And the next hands we produce, well, we rotate the second hand. We get at those by going hands second of h. Okay, that's how we update time by one second. To render the time, we need to draw a set of three hands. We want to draw a clock corresponding to that. Define it this way. Define render time. Well, we can just overlay the three hands. The second hands are simple. We just go the second hand part of H. For the minute hands, we want to scale that a bit. And for the hour hands, we should also scale those a bit. Now, how much to scale? The minute hand should be a bit shorter than the second hand. Let's say about four-fifths. And we can divide the width of the second hand by the width of the minute hand to get the right relative size. We'll do something similar for the hour hand. Take three quarters of the ratio between the second hand image and the hour hand image. What else do we have to do to make Big Bang run this? Well, remember what happens when I hit the stop down arrow. Now it's not going to produce an image, it has to produce a make hands, and those have three images. Stop, stop, stop. We start with time, and that's what we're updating. On each tick of the clock, we update time. Also on each tick of the clock, we draw what the time looks like. Let's run that. Now this is running 28 times as fast as it should just so that we can test it out. And that's too fast for my CPU. It makes it pause every once in a while. And it catches up again. We've got the three hands there, and they seem to be moving at the correct relative speeds. But there's this annoying feature where the white rectangles that the images are on obscure the image behind them. We'll need to fix that in the future. But for now, let's see what happens when I press the down arrow. Does it stop gracefully? Yep, there we go.